So previously we had a AI material generator and now we have an AI texture generator. And this thing is pretty neat. Especially if you are a solo developer or you are just starting or doing projects for fun. Because as I'm going to show in this little preview, it's going to generate AI textures on meshes and it does them pretty accurately. As you can see pretty much right here. And some more information about it. It creates the textures in 1024 by 1024 resolution. And right now, because this is a beta feature, there is a limitation of you generating, where was it? Right here at the limitations, there is a limit of you generating up to 25 previews a day. And from these 25 previews, you can put on five textures on a mesh. And there is also more showcase and a demo play that I'm gonna show later. But this is just me briefly going over this dev forum post. There is also information on responsibility and intellectual property right here, as well as some other frequently asked questions. So you can pause the video if you want, but I'm going to go into studio right now. So I am in studio and let's enable this feature. So we just go to file then beta features and then scroll down to the AI power texture generator, which is right here on the top. Then just enable it, save and restart the studio. Okay, and now when we are back in studio, we should be able to see the texture generator tab somewhere in the model tab. And it is right here. But right now I need a mesh part, so let me just get something maybe more complex, like one of my sword models from here. And let's use the import 3D to import the mesh. And I have the sword right here, and as you can see, whenever I press on it, it's loading the mesh into the preview. So let's try using the AI generated textures right now by giving this system a prompt. And I can do steel sword with lever handle. And let's generate a preview. And as you can see it did a pretty good job. And it only did a good job on... The, well at least on the first preview. I don't really know what's going on anywhere else. Like I said this is a... this is still in beta. So there is gonna be system improvements later. But there is also another thing with this AI generated textures that this whole system is going to take the camera angle from which you should be looking at the most highlighted and significant features of the mesh from its surface for it to generate the texture properly. Even here it says that if you hover over it that this is the most important view of your mesh and it's being prioritized by the generator. And the advanced options have a seed, then the camera generation angle the smart UV unwrap, which UV unwraps the texture coordinates if they are overlapping. And then the specify front view, which as is written here, specifies the chosen generation angle as the front of the mesh. And is helpful for stuff like avatars and animals. So let's try to generate another PV again. And let's see it from different angles. And this time it looks way better than the previous one. So let's press on save and apply. And here is taking some time to generate the texture. And here is taking some time to generate the texture. And now let's see the texture on the sword. So as you can see it did a pretty good job. I'm going to close the preview. And it's a bit low quality because this is a thousand by a thousand texture basically. And the sword size should be something around like this. And with the AI generated textures you can kind of see whenever something is AI generated. But just for a basic asset like a prop or something, or maybe a placeholder texture, it's actually pretty neat. So if you are having something like this right now, imagine how it's gonna be in maybe like two years. Like personally I would say that this texture isn't really something that I would use for a project. And commissioning someone to actually draw a texture would be better. But for what this feature is right now it's gonna make the life easier for, like I said, solo developers or people who are starting up or just doing stuff for fun. And right now let's also go to the demo place right here. So whenever you go to this texture generator demo place, you can either press on the three dots and press on edit in studio, or you can download the file. I'm going to save it to the file and just open from file. Then whenever it loads, it should look like this. There is this sign that says create your own using texture generator. But this just says you can enable it and where it is, and yeah. So basically you have something like this couch, which actually looks really good. It even has a wooden floor right here, and it seems a bit hyper-realistic. 
especially with these folds and the lightning. And the back isn't that great because I'm guessing that this was the front image. But unlike the AI generated materials, the textures itself have way more depth to them. Then there is basically this mug. And you can probably also see these edges right here. And that's because I'm guessing that this mug is low poly and it's been smoothed on the outside, but you can basically just see like that this is a face. And the AI material generator knows that it's a face and it should render something like this around it. Then there is this plant which actually looks really good. Then like a wooden stool. And then you have something like a shield. Yeah, maybe let's not look at it from the back. The front actually looks really good, but like the transition to the back and another collar right here doesn't seem like it was generated properly. And this is probably the shoulder line that it was going from. Anyways, let's move to the pants now. And the pants kind of look overdone in my opinion. Like this just looks like something that you would see on a farm on a scarecrow. But this dress is actually pretty good. Especially because you can see the mesh right here. It doesn't really have any folds except at the bottom. But the texture generator actually added few folds going down from it. Then you have a shoe, which the inside doesn't really look that great. But on the outside is alright. And then you have a backpack, which actually just seems like a proper... Okay, maybe not that proper because of this side. Actually, it seems like a proper backpack. And same with this beanie. And let's maybe try generating a prompt for this couch right here. So from the model tab again, press on the texture generator and you can see the preview of the couch here. And you can either press on the whole model or select individual mesh parts. But let's give it a dark leather texture. Or maybe I don't even need to prompt the texture in. Then change the preview a bit and press on preview right here. Oh, and this even shows you the cap of how many you have left when you hover over. And apparently it's 10, not 5. So let's press on save and apply. Okay, and let's see. So yeah, it seems like an actual proper couch. And like I said, you can still see that it's AI generated a bit here and there. But if I look at it from further away, it just seems like a normal model. And something also happened to the legs. Okay, so that's basically all there is to this feature right now. And like I said, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna be leaving links to everything in the description. But for now, it's going to be everything for today. So remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and found it informative. You can also consider becoming a channel member if you want to support me. But yeah, I hope you had a nice day and see ya guys.